This interactive demo of resource management with CA Clarity PPM is the second of a comprehensive series of demonstrations presented by Digital Celerity, a premier CA Technologies partner and the leading provider of Clarity Consulting, Training, and Expert Services. As the number one reseller of CA Clarity PPM in North America, Digital Celerity is delighted to share our knowledge, exchange ideas, and build the CA Clarity PPM community. Hi Bill, thanks for joining me today. Um, I know a couple of days ago we looked at the whole area of project plan and control within Clarity um, and how we could create plans from templates, how we could schedule those projects, how we could capture time and status on the projects and report on them. And now I'm really interested in the whole area of uh, resource management. So we've got approximately about you know, 500 staff in our IT department made up of project managers, analysts, developers, testers, trainers, um, about 10 to 15 key roles in the organization. A lot of our staff undertake work outside their normal role on projects. You know, for example, an analyst acting as uh, developers and testers. And I'm concerned that we don't know how we're utilizing our people. And I'm unsure if staff are working too many hours each week and fostering the culture of just making do with the resources we have rather than planning for the capacity we need. So can you show me how Clarity assists us in allocating people to projects, assigning tasks, and tracking that utilization, please? Sure. Absolutely, Chris. Uh, Clarity is designed to uh, really make this type of resource planning and tracking um, easy for you. Let me show you how Clarity allows you to allocate people to projects and to tasks, and also how you can monitor utilization at both those levels, pro the project level and the task level as well. So let's go into um, a project, uh, which we call e-commerce portal here. And uh, that takes us to the project page. I'm going to click on the team tab here. And this is where the project team is is established. So what you'll see here is there's already been a number of people assigned to this project. Um, and there's also one role assigned to this project. So Clarity allows you to staff projects both with people to do the work, but also with placeholders for those people. So for example, in this case, there's still one person um, needed on the project that has not yet been assigned, and that person is an architect. So Clarity allows you to staff projects with both these types of um, people and roles, and that lets you both track um, the people's hours, but also your demand for um, additional people and hours for roles that are not yet filled. The other thing I'd like to show you here is um, these people are assigned to the project, and if you go over here to the right, you'll see that they have kind of a start and a finish date they're on the project, and also how much time they're allocated to that project. So right now they're all full time on the project, but you can easily change this. For example, this architect that we haven't yet filled, maybe we only need him half time on the project, so we'll fill that at half time. Um, and maybe this business analyst below here really is only about a quarter of the time on the project, so we'll make that 25%. Maybe this test engineer uh, really doesn't come on the project till later, let's say in July, so we'll change that um, to July and then save that. And so that's a real quick way of allocating your people um, to the project in terms of how much time they should be spending on this project. Um, one other thing to show you about staffing projects is uh, for this placeholder here, where we need, need an architect, Clarity makes it very easy to find the right people to replace to fill this role. So we've already specified we need an architect and we, how, when we need that architect and for how much time. So by hitting this resource finder um, icon, Clarity will go out and do the work for you to find the people who will fill that role and the skills needed within that role and also their availability. You know, are they available for that time? So Clarity will make that possible for you and, and help you do the work to get the right people on the right projects. So that's staffing at the project level. Let's take a look at staffing at uh, the task level. So I'm going to go and Click on the task tab here, and what we see is just the key tasks um, and milestones on the project. To go into the full project schedule, we'll go into the Clarity uh, scheduler, the Clarity Cans. What we see here is the full 
uh, project plan or work breakdown structure for the project, we'll see that we have tasks with people assigned to them and with estimates to complete the task and duration for these tasks. And to assign people to tasks is quite simple. You, you just go ahead and uh, click on the assigned resources column and you add someone. For example, if we wanted to add um, the architect that uh, we haven't yet filled yet, but we know needs to work on this task. We can go ahead and do that right here. Now that architect is, uh, is assigned to that task. So Clarity allows you to staff resources at the project level, so how much time they should be working on the project, and also at the staff level, so for how much time and effort they should be spending on these tasks. So the next step then is, to your question of, well, how do I know if people are working too many hours or if they're overworked or underworked? So let me show you how that works both at the uh, task level and at the project level. Go ahead and close down uh, Clarity Gantt. Um, and uh, take a look at the project dashboard. So when I look at the project dashboard, I'll see there's a lot of uh, metrics about the project, its status, upcoming milestones, how the schedule is doing against baseline. There's also a team utilization portlet here, um, which I'll show you. What this does is show for each of the people assigned to this project, how much work are they assigned versus how much they're allocated to the project. So for example, Cheryl Amos, she's assigned full time to the project. So she's got you know, essentially 40 hours a week to, uh, to work on the project. You can see that she's actually, this red shows she's over allocated. So she has 40 hours this week, but she's actually has assigned a task with estimates to complete a 64 hours in that week. And the next week it even gets worse. She's got 80 hours of work she's supposed to complete um, in this week. So the project manager can easily see that uh, we have some resources here who are over, alloc over allocated to the task on this project and then adjust accordingly. You can also see there are resources who are um, underutilized. So we have um, availability here and there's no assigned ETC, so you can move tasks around as needed or schedule them out to make sure your resources are not overutilized or overbooked on this project. So that's a look at just making sure within a single project that uh, resources are um, distributed well in terms of how much effort um, they need to work, how many hours they need to work versus how much time they have for the single project. The next view is stepping up a bit and going, well, how are resources um, doing in terms of working on multiple projects? But for that, I'm going to take you to um, the workloads page, which is kind of a higher level resource planning page, where we see these same, we see resources, but now we're seeing a, a similar view, but we're seeing a, um, across projects. So Cheryl, look at Cheryl Amos, we'll see there's a lot of uh, over allocation here. She has 40 hours of work um, availability overall, but she's got 168 hours of work on different projects. So now we're looking beyond that single project. And what's happened here is multiple project managers are expecting her to work on multiple projects at the same time. And this can happen through a variety of reasons, um, you know, either poor communication, Projects run late, work schedules go up. Clarity will look, let you look ahead and see, oh, there's going to be problems here in a few weeks because for whatever reason, Cheryl's over allocated. Um, so it lets you first highlight the, um, highlight the issue. And then it lets you actually drill in and see, well, why is Cheryl allocated? So I'm going to go ahead and click on this, and we'll get a view of, well, what is Cheryl, um, why is Cheryl so overbooked? And what we can see is, um, She's got all these projects she's assigned to and breaks it down here on a, um, by, by a monthly basis. You can see she's just completely over, overbooked on different projects here. So that shows you, basically lets you highlight the visibility of the overallocation, drill in to find out why, and then take action to resolve those, those conflicts. Great. Thanks, Bill. Um, so that shows me the view of you know, who's doing what on current projects. Uh, but how do I start to plan for future growth and demand? You know, how do I know what my capacity is, um, what demand's coming along? Uh, what facilities are in Clarity to help me do that? Well, Clarity has resource capacity planning built in. Um, 
future projects to be staffed with placeholders for people, as I showed you just a moment ago with putting roles on. So I need architects, I need developers, I need test engineers for these projects. And that lets you say, well, what is my demand both now and in the future as I take on more projects? Um, and then staff clarity can then analyze if you'll have enough people and the types of roles you need for your future projects. So let's take a look at uh, the capacity tab in our resource planning uh, dashboard. And what this does is shows you by role what my overall capacity versus demand is in, in my organization. So it takes all the people within these roles, and that is your capacity, how many architects you have, how many business analysts you have. It takes all the demand for these roles, whether they're actually people working in that role or whether they're placeholders for uh, projects that have not yet been filled with people. It combines those together to give you a quick view of am I over or under capacity? And so by looking at this, anywhere you see red, you're over capacity. So for example, we're seeing quite a bit of over capacity here um, in a developer, particularly in May. Um, this uh, tooltip says we have 11 people available, 11 developers available, but we actually need 22 in the month of May to do all our projects. So that's a sign of, a, of a, some, some troubles that you have to resolve in order to actually get your work done effectively. And again, I can click into this for more detail. So I need 22 developers in May. Why is that? I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And that brings up a view of these are all the projects that are, I need uh, developers on. So I can take a look at this, and I can drill into these projects further to see, well, you know, what's happening with these projects, how much time is needed, and then I can do the work necessary to balance um, this capacity versus demand. Now the next thing is, once you've actually highlighted these issues and you have all the information, clearly the next is, well, how do you resolve the issues? Um, Clarity has, uh, you know, scenarios you can run, um, which is basically what if planning to help you resolve, you know, how to resolve demand versus capacity issues. So if you have projects coming up and not enough people to staff them, you can run scenarios that let you decide, well, what if we hired more people or brought in more contractors or what if we delayed a project or put a project on hold to reduce demand? You know, you can build scenarios that help you have different options for how to deal with your future growth and demand and then choose the best one uh, for your organization and implement it. Okay, that's great. So I can look at uh, what, what I've got in place and what my demand is. Um, so obviously these facilities are used also by not just project managers, but they're used by resource managers and uh, provided to executive management. What sort of facilities are there for resource managers to report on resource utilization and capacity planning up to executive management so that they can understand what the current situation is and what the needs are? Yeah, Clarity has uh, quite a few dashboards, um, some of which I'm showing you here, here now um, throughout uh, the product to help you look at your resource planning needs. All of these dashboards can be um, exported to PowerPoint. So I can click on this button and I instantly have a PowerPoint that pulls these dashboards into a nice uh, presentable format. They can be exported to Excel if you want to uh, further work with Excel. And then we also have reports. There's over 50 or 60 um, reports that are available in Clarity and, and, and quite a few of those have to do with resource planning. So let me show you uh, some of the resource planning reports we have. Um, I pulled out just a, a couple examples I want to show you here. I'll show you the resource allocations um, and assignment reports uh, initially. Go ahead and open that one up. And this is a report that basically pulls all of the uh, allocation information, so how, what, how the people are allocated to projects and their task assignment information into one single report gives a graph at the front that says overall, how am I doing in terms of people being allocated to projects versus how much they're actually expected to work on those projects. So it gives me a high level view. And then it actually gives me a view too of each resource and shows me what are they working on and when are they working on. And it'll highlight any issues where um, they have, they're over allocated and, and can't get their work done with all their uh, 
uh, avail of available time. So that's an example of a report uh, for allocation and assignment by month. Um, I'll show you one more report here, uh, capacity versus demand by role, um, which will give you a similar view to what I showed you in terms of the capacity versus demand in the um, dashboard, but this is on a report format. So again, I'll show you sort of by role how much capacity they have versus demand and how much remaining capacity or am I overbooked. And again, this shows you all of that information at a high level in a reporting format. So these are the, some examples of the types of reporting you can use to share with your resource uh, managers and uh, executive management. Hey, thanks. So uh, now I can see how Clarity can quite easily help us allocate staff to projects, uh, assign them to staffs, monitor that user utilization, identify future demand, and also report into uh, our management. We don't have very much in place right now for resource management. So if we wanted to look at the adoption and maturity uh, of our processes and tools that we use you know, across this area and other areas, such as finance management, portfolio, uh, other areas of project management, would you be able to help us? Sure. Uh, we have a PPM maturity and roadmap assessment. It allows you to quickly find out your strengths and weaknesses and where you um, should be focusing your attention. And it also helps you lay out a roadmap for how to address those issues and how to strengthen and mature your organization um, in a you know, evolving task. So you take one step at a time to slowly grow um, your organization in a way that makes the most sense for you. Okay, thanks. That's great. Um, look forward to the future demonstrations on some of these other areas like financial management. So uh, thank you for showing clarity uh, to me in the way it handles resource management today. Thanks. My pleasure. Thanks a lot, Chris. Digital Celerity, guiding your best path to PPM, ITSM, and enterprise agile best practices.